For NJ Advance Media, I am Connor Hughes. The Jets have taken a rather interesting approach this year in their off-season planning. Essentially, it began by them cutting a ton of their ton of their veterans, guys like Ryan Clady, uh, Brandon Marshall, uh, Nick Mangold, Darrell Rivas, and they have since replaced them in free agency with nobody. Some have viewed this as a sign the Jets are preparing to tank the 2017 season of hopes of getting the number one overall pick in the draft and taking USC quarterback Sam Darnold. Is that a good idea? Is that a bad idea? It may not be the best, in my opinion. How many times have we seen this story before? You know, a phenom quarterback in college football who, once he's quote-unquote available to go in the draft, he's going to be the unquestioned number one quarterback and killed in the NFL and all this fun stuff. A lot of times, even though at one point these guys are viewed as the top prospect, unquestioned number one quarterback in the draft, when they play more college football and college coaches and defensive coordinators figure them out a bit, they're not the same quarterback in years two and three as they were maybe in year one. It happened with Matt Barkley, coincidentally, at USC. It happened with Taj Boyd at Clemson. It happened with Deshaun Watson this past year at uh, Clemson as well. So, while Darnold right now is the, yes, he's going to be the top quarterback when he comes out, he may not be the top quarterback when he actually does come out. There's also the little asterisk that there's a chance Darnold isn't even in the 2017 NFL Draft. He's going to be a redshirt sophomore, so yes, he is eligible if he wants to come out, but say USC makes a run this year. Say they come close. Say they've got a decent amount of a core of their guys that step up and they're going to return in 2018, and Darnold says, you know what? I don't really like how the top of the draft is shaping up. I'm going to come back to college one more year. I'm going to fine-tune my skill set. I'm going to try to make a run for a college championship, and then I'm going to enter the draft. What's going to happen then for the Jets if they quote-unquote tank the 2017 season? Are they going to tank for a quarterback that then doesn't even enter the draft? So then are they going to tank again in 2018? Look, in theory, it does make sense. The Jets need a quarterback. Their future franchise quarterback may not be on the roster, depending on how you do or don't feel about Christian Hackenberg. And Darnold could be their quarterback for the next 15 years and finally take him out of this quarterback purgatory they've been in for the last 50. But there's no guarantee that that's going to happen. If he's there and things go the Jets' way, sure, awesome, fine. But there's no promise. So is it really the best move for the Jets to tank when there's no hope that tanking is actually going to result in anything? I don't think so. For NJ Advanced Media, I'm Connor Hughes.